Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this Friday, 11 2024 And I know a lot of people who are into these, that mystical kind of thinking, you know, kind of uh, attempt to find meaning in all of that. And uh, I told you, um, you know, when you evolve your consciousness, um, you're going to have to suspend your ego, your labels, so, you know, and I told you to challenge your beliefs. If you want to have them, keep them, but at least challenge them and find the logic, rational and reasonable meaning to them and why you hold on to them. You know, why do you hold on to certain beliefs? Main thing that uh, the one thing that will separate you, I'm just being real honest with you, and, and sometimes I may isolate you, is when when you're talking about supernatural. A lot of people are invested in that. Uh, that is how they live their lives is through supernatural events happening or supposed to happen. And they kind of, uh, you know, like the doomsday thinkers, the ones who are uh, attempting to attribute the dawning of the age of Aquarius to the end of days. You know, though that kind of thinking, you're not really going to make much of an impact. And that's really honestly, you don't want to focus your energy on that anyway, because I told you, you cannot fool your consciousness. So those, those that are out there, you know, kind of operating in a certain type of, uh, energy, frequency, vibration, whatever everyone's calling it. Since you cannot fool your consciousness, either you're going to get something out of your ex life experiences or you're not. So, um, your consciousness, you know, that, that innermost being of yourself is doing everything that consciousness do to evolve you. But sadly, a lot of people are devolving themselves because they refuse, refuse to think for themselves and think out of their thinking modes. They want to hold on to these diehard uh, traditional custom thinking. And that is a free will, unfortunately, for a lot of people who are who are getting frustrated about that. I wouldn't get frustrated. I am concerned. I am concerned because I see the sh I see how people are waving. I see the waves of how conversation goes and how conversations kind of uh uh develop in people. So my my um mission, my intentions and purposes is to help and guide with the with the evolving of the consciousness. Now Keep in mind, you're going to have all type of so-called experts coming at you, 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 coming at you <laughs> with their theories and opinions about what it means to evolve the consciousness. So expect that. But I'm very, very thankful because I know a lot of people have been able to see outside of that. They know that there's a lot of pseudoscience out there. They recognize that. They understand that. And so they're ready. They're ready to take it, you know, get themselves out of the spin and get spun out. You know what I mean? They, they're tired of it. They know that there is a lot of manipulation and deception with almost every range of our life, every existence of our lives is being manip. There's an attempt, I should say, to manipulate, indoctrinate, and in infuse, and to interrupt, and to interfere. That is going to go on forever and ever and ever. So what you as an individual have to do is be able to Suspend yourself out of that and be more of a witness of it. Not necessarily having to engage unless you want to. I engage on certain things because I know how to handle it. It is is a required, uh, well, I shouldn't say required, but it's, it's so important to know that, you know, that you, you know, to get into that peaceful space within yourself where you can see things going on that are concerning, devastating I mean, and a lot of people will say that you've been desensitized. A lot of people say that word a lot. Well, let's look it up. Desensitize. A lot of people say that that people are being desensitized. And uh, let's see what it says here. Deaden. <laughs> okay. Deaden. And that's possibly true. You know, numb. The void of physical sensations. Wow. 
literally, figuratively, metaphorically, that's that appears more truthful to me than not. You know, you're becoming dead inside. So, but outside, you're beautiful. You're, you're you know, you're 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 famous, maybe. You know, you are, people look up to you. Possibly, people are inspired by you. But inside, you're dead, and you know it. You know it. And that's a that's a sad reality that a lot of us are going to face. So, again, my my duty, because I, I consider it a duty to help humanity, is to guide you out of the spin of all of that. And because eventually, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, the spin is going to crash and burn. And a lot of people say that like someone was saying to me yeah, in, the, in the bible supposedly in the bible it says that that we're that this planet is supposed to go it's supposed to end up crashing and burning okay you know that's uh almost what that's kind of millions of years for now but what's going to really ca crash and burn literally is your consciousness development meaning it doesn't matter what's going on outside of you you're not going to be able to engage properly. You're not going to be able possibly to engage at all because you may have uh, created a self, it's a self-created dementia where your brain cells start dying. Your brain is atrophying. You know, you experience atrophy. Okay. And you could be <clears throat> in the midst of millions and billions of people, but you cannot reach anybody. You cannot touch anybody. You cannot taste, smell. All the sensing is deadened. So that's how I sense, that's how I, I sense um, being desensitized. You know, you're dying inside, you know, literally, figuratively, metaphorically. So just allow me to help you. I know there's some of you out there, you know, that are interested in what I'm doing. Allow me to help you because no matter what's going on in the world, even if the world was be being destroyed, I would be okay about that. And, you know, and, and that sounds crazy, but, the, the, you know, there's there's a reasoning behind everything I'm saying and doing. So that's why I have to put out the breadcrumbs and not kind of over, overwhelm you with, with um, what I'm talking about and what I'm doing and, and what I'm hoping to do with my foundation, you know, with my consulting so at some point, I'm going to officially uh, put out some notifications to anybody that's interested, you know, to, 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 to you know, to come with me, no. <laughs> to allow me to help your journey and your path become a bit more smoother. You know, you have a bit more confidence and you just continually to develop and develop every day. So. Enjoy the holidays. I would say re I would say relax, you know, as much as you can if you need to, especially if you've been I mean, this 2024, I mean, I I told you 2022 was significant. It was cosmically significant, and a lot of people missed it, and that's fine. Any anything that happens cos as a cosmic event on the planet will affect the people on the planet, and that includes human beings whether you are conscious of it or not. Okay? Whether you're conscious of it or not, you will be impact affected you may not you may not know what's going on you may say oh you know just like the total those total eclipse we get all excited about all of that but you know i mean mo in most cases the cosmic events do happen unconsciously but we are affected by it understand what that means okay so uh again there's a lot going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of revelations behind the scenes. And I know, I would say 80% of the people on this planet, if they knew exactly what was going on, they would be devastated. They would be despondent. They would be depressed. They'd probably be, you know, want to come up, go out and harm people. And, you know, so, and a lot of those people are still planning all that. But I, you know, I will resonate with the people that I'm supposed to resonate with. You're supposed to have seen my face, heard my voice, okay? Meet me, you know, uh, exchange energy with me. You were supposed to do that, you know? And so that's why I say there's a lot of us doing some similar work, uh, you know, on a horizontal, vertical, 
decline. Okay. Uh, if I can impact one person, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. So I'll probably talk about some more stuff later. I just want to go ahead and put this out on Friday. Friday, Friday. You know, people make a big deal out of Friday. I remember I used to be the same way until I realized Friday doesn't mean a goddamn thing. No more than Thursday and Wednesday and Tuesday and Monday too. So consider resting if you choose to. Consider being reflective on your life and you know and being realistic i mean the the part of being realistic and grounded is if you're not doing that then you're just gonna put yourself in to some unnecessary um despondent you know possibly depressive times in your life and moodiness you know so you know reach out to me as some have and just let me help and guide you and uh, let's do this together, okay? It's about I, we, and us.